hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel if you are new to this channel and if you are please consider subscribing and we appreciate it thank you very much this is epson workforce wf 2950DWF. This printer is multifunctional printer with automatic document feeder. You can copy, scan, print, and fast with this printer. You can also connect this printer to Wi Fi network, Wi Fi direct. You can also print auto two sided print. And this printer is with real paper feed. We loaded A4 paper, paper here. This printer is using ink 604 or 604 extra large. If you check my video you see how we install the ink and also complete alignment head what i want to show you now is how to connect this printer to wi-fi network this printer you can connect it to wi-fi or wi-fi direct and to do this you need to use epson smart panel okay you need to connect this printer via epson smart panel so for your mobile device we want to do this using a mobile device there are ways to do this you can select to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network from the LCD screen, then you put a password or use your mobile device. What I'm going to do is use my mobile device thread to try to find this printer. If we, if we are not able to see it, then we'll connect the printer to Wi-Fi network, then add it to the mobile device. So what we're going to do now is go to Play Store. Okay, go to Play Store on your mobile device, type Epson Smart Panel. Epson Smart Panel. This is Epson Smart Pad. Download it on your mobile device. Okay, and it will start to search for available device. Now this is Epson Smart Panel. So what you need to do is you need to, to look for this printer. You need to add plus. Go to the plus sign. Okay. Would you like to check if your product is supported? We don't know because we know that this printer you can connect it to Wi-Fi network. Select no. Now it's asking you to set up a new product or connect a product already on the Wi-Fi. So select set up a new product. Okay, and it will ask you thank you for choosing your Epson products. Let's continue. Select continue. Make sure your printer is turned on and the if USB cable is connected to the product, disconnect it and turn on again. Click next. So what is doing now is searching for the product and you can see it find the product WF2950. Select on it. Are you sure you want to select this product? Then you select yes. Do you want to set up Wi-Fi for this product? Select yes. You can see my answer to the side okay confirming the product status confirm the product status connect the product to the wi-fi below click yes okay wi-fi password is required click next okay the next is the password is usually shown on the back or side of the router or the router documentation click next it may be called an encryption key or security key click next do you want to confirm the password click yes okay some character are similar in shape okay so yeah, these are kind of rules things you need to be aware click next again and now we need to enter the wi-fi password from this key i have the information i do get questions where do you get the password like i said you get the password from the back of your router okay the same password you use for your mobile device or wi-fi at home is what you're going to do use so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the password but also i want to mention you need to be mindful of the password case is case sensitive if you ask you to put capital letter you need to do the sentence if you ask you to put small letter please do okay so i'm going to put the password then get back to you Another thing is you can use the eye sign to check for the password you are putting if it is correct. Okay, so press the eye sign to the Press the I sign for you to see the, the details you put to check. 
okay and i'm happy with the information that i put here i'm happy with it okay so once once you're done the next you need to do is need to select okay okay and it will ask you do you want to connect the printer to the following wi-fi click yes okay wait until the product wi-fi setup is complete wait until the product wi-fi you can see two percent three percent so it's progressing three percent so it's progressing so it's progressing you can see hundred percent Here we go wi-fi setup is complete and the smartphone and the product are connected you can see it will show you this image okay to tell you that the product and the smartphone are connected click next so what is doing now is taking you to it's taking us to epson smart panel this epson smart panel and this printer is here okay you can see the printer image and it will show you the ink this is the ink level wf2950 series and the printer will show you the ink level so this printer now i can do so many things with this printer okay you can copy scan and ready print okay by just scrolling to side by side to side okay if you want to print the photo select print photo if you want to scan document select scan it give you option for you to scan if you want to copy select copy so now this printer is ready okay so this is how to set up this printer thank you very much this is how to set this printer up thank you very much and stay blessed